We're just hanging out late wet, night. I'm sure he's just gonna keep sleeping, man. Think yeah. so? Yeah. Shane it's over there. So cold. Right over there. See what it cooks are messing around. Perfect. It's nice and dry. I think I might uh just mess around with this this crook I have. See what I can do with it. I don't know. It doesn't seem like a very sound piece of wood. It's got holes and rot and insect damage. It's fucked up, might have spoon part of it. Yeah. Like Piece is missing. It's just gonna have to be a little different. See, I, I see how mine is. I fungus. Yeah, I to drop my cooches <laughs> down at the hand so you, when you choke up on it with your thumb, what right here? Yeah, yeah, like it's. I'll show you. It sits like right in your yeah. thumb. It should be hanging up right over there. Yeah. Go for it. You know? Get a couple of nice black marks on my kooksa, no worries. Yeah, exactly. You already got a few bucks. Actually, that is the kooksa that I put wood glue in because it rotted. That was my second kooksa. My first kooksa I had strapped on the outside of my oh, backpack. Yeah. I was getting ready to leave on a camping trip here, actually, with Gary and Roland, and my backpack fell, and the kooksa cracked. The front whole lip of it just cracked. Oh, awful, man. And it was Try solid to wood, it. too. It just, it just landed just right. So I knocked that thing out in, like, super short time. And actually, when I first when I first made it, I, I think you remember this, Mitch. The back part of it, the underneath of the bowl, still had the bark on it, and I sealed it that way, so it was like white, yep, white bark on the bottom. I do remember that. You can see the bark here, but it just yeah. rotted so much that I didn't, I didn't really take care of it. What the, the bark? Yep. You yeah. you have to really work on sealing it because you know, like I was saying, birch bark just rots with the with the bark on it. So you take care of it. Raw linseed oil. Right? Raw linseed oil. For for spoons. For everything. I know you use mineral oil. Uh, mineral oil or walnut oil, yeah, but. Yeah, definitely a little thicker. For sure. I didn't think it was. Um, Should have got my buck saw. <laughs> I have one. I have one too. It's over in well, my I backpack. Know, <laughs> I know, right? That thing, that's what I was been sawing everything with. It's just like, it takes some time. Man. I've got mine right over there. Uh, I just I, I would have buzzed through this and yeah. like seven swipes. Done. Agaway Canyon, yeah. They make there's a couple of companies now that have full bucks. Right now. Okay, you want a hand mitch? Why don't I hold that? Nah, nah, that's nah, okay. I don't want you to get. Bit, I'll come man. over here and hold it. I'm gonna just step on it. Hold it over on the edge. I can know yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are we still in frame yet? I'll open it a little bit. Man. That is suitable wood. Oh no. Oh that's scary. I wanna put my 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 ladle like right here and it's like insect damage. Yep. I wonder how far that goes. I'm gonna pick it this one with a stick. Bummer. Just gonna see how far it goes. Yeah, that's good. That's um something dug in there recently too, I, I would guess. Look at that. I wouldn't be surprised if the bug was still in here. What's that? Uh just got a little bit of weevil damage here. No. Whoa, man! This Look goes, at that hole. This goes all the way through, man. Look at this. This thing's huge. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, no, this, look at this one. So use it, right? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a, oh man, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? It's gonna have straw. Yeah, you Dude, look, look! Look how deep this one is. It'll be like those cereal bowls that have straws in them. Put it in here. Let's that see. You could just never get clean. Oh my God. Ready? Look at this, guys. Oh, that's bad. 
It's a couple least, inches. Couple inches, yeah. Oh man, hey, let's see where that lands though. Hang on a second. I want to see how, how deep yours is compared to this one. Oh, you could come off the backside. Oh, the lands over here. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because the that's you really want to come off this side. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's where I want to be. What if you made like a like a ninety ladle? You know what I mean? Came up this way and made a ladle this way. I can't have the pith on this going through yeah, it though. That's, true. that's not good, man. That's true. Bad news. Yeah, I'm just trying to think what you could do to salvage it. Yeah, this one's even I hear deeper, you. Mitch. I'm gonna just dig into this and see what happens. This one's like almost. I but. think this is all the way through actually. That's that's not I think good it goes though. To this one it just got dust in it. I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's bad. Is. That's bad, okay? Yeah, okay. Bad, and you get holes in your birds, okay? Yeah. yeah. You make this is such a. Piece, um, I think he's got plans for it, but for both of them. Yeah, yeah. I'll examine it closely. I think it's this log too. This log's not going to stay on good flat now. Yeah, you know, oh. white birch is really good. Yeah, nice. the There's, there is more. <laughs> I mean, that's probably why this more tree died. damage incoming. <laughs> look at the spalting. There's a little bit of spalting in there. That's really yeah. nice. I I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut into it yeah. and see what happens. Whatever, dude. Worst that can happen is that I say there's nothing there. I can't, I can't get anything out of it. You could still probably get a spoon out of just that branch. You know, it would be a narrow one. It but... would be super narrow. I was thinking the exact same thing. I'm like, mm. or at very least, you could at least get a coffee scoop out of it. <sighs> You know, oh, yeah. you may not get a full ladle, or just a straight yeah, up That's spoon. true. Where's that mallet at? Right here. Right over there. By the uh, stump. The old stump. stump. You just gotta kind of let it fall, you know? Yep. Alright, I took the pith. Right there. I really do want to read through this book, Sean. I think I can take out a mail back to you. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Take it. I haven't read it yet, so take it. You haven't read it? No. Give it a little look through. I'm, I'm giving it a look through for sure. It's got good shit in there. It's good stories and shit, too. Take it. I see a bookmark in here. Yeah. Dude, there's like so much potential in this wood. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. It's not there. I it down for it's a little, oh, it's almost perfect actually. It's still a little a touch too wet, but no, it's actually perfect. Look at this, man. It's like almost perfectly pliable. I know. So I'm saying there's so much potential here, but like look at this. Look at this piece in here. Like how how special is that? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And then you're like, oh, but there's all that damage. Yeah. We'll see, you know what I mean? Exactly. 
That's all I'm gonna do. Let me see the cross section. Oh man, that's so tough. Yeah, this. I hope you know maybe. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. You're gonna have to, you're just gonna have to bring that thing back as far as you can and tow the bowl, bowl up and try to maybe miss that hole. Yeah. Other than that, I don't see I don't see any other way you could fit a, a, a ladle or a spoon in there without being on that hole. Yeah, this is this is good stuff, man. Look at this. Feel that? That's a shaving of birch bark. Obviously, Zach's is stupid sharp, but yeah. that's white birch. Yeah, it doesn't. It won't smell like black birch does. Yeah. It's gray birch. It's gray birch. Though. Yeah, it's gray, gray birch. Gray and silver are pretty much the same, right? Really? White's a little different. Really? Yellow, river birch. What's I found it on the other side. Is it just white? Did you? Yeah, it's right here. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, it's still kind of deep, huh? That's where it ends, I think, though. That's not bad. You may be able to, no. I'd say, chunk it out and see what it looks like. And then work with it. I'm going to see. Check it out, man. God, it's beautiful. You think you cut this too short? Are you gonna use this half or this half? You have to use the top half. That's yeah, but is this too short? Oh, you think? Yeah. You have to start the bowl up in the neck. You yeah. start start the bowl like here. Cut it into here. Yeah. Get it there. You had to do it anyway. Take that bowl out. No matter, no matter how you diced it out you cut it longer you were gonna have to cut that out anyway so yeah. it looks nice I like that small thing it's really pretty it's like you can tell it just started but it, it, that tree got sick fast you know right like it's not really spread out but it's very defined what you call this spalting spalting yeah tree had a boo-boo it's like a scar it's like an internal scarring for really? a tree I don't know how exactly it comes about but I know it's it's from some type of sickness or something, some yeah. type of fungus or I don't know. It's not a good sign for the tree, but I mean, as long as you get it before it rots. Whoa, it's dude! I just split this piece of wood. I hit it right near the pith, and literally just cut this thing in half. Oh the whole thing? Yeah. Well, look, look at this. Like I can pull that apart now. Damn. Yeah, it's it's really wet and it's pine. You know what I mean. Yeah. You want you want you want to grab another one? Holy crap! No, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees. I wonder, did it go all the way through? You could almost make a step in it. You Dude, could, it's. I could get the look post. how far the crack goes. Oh, Three geez. quarters. Um, actually, all the way. For, uh, yeah. You could make well, nuts. a lot of carvers will have a step. They'll have like a, you know, yep. chopping block like this, and half of it is up here, and then it steps down, and then there's another half. So you fit the spoons in there and move them around at different oh, angles really? to be able to oh. axe better without having to put your hands in awkward positions. Oh, okay. I got you. That's cool. Is it? Yeah. I got a second wind and I'll die. Yeah. yeah. It's not going away. Because you're not carving something. Because you're not carving something. Yeah, they'll find some, uh, some you always do, and now you're not. What's going on, dude? Yeah. All my tools are in Sean's hands. You know what I mean? Got my boy over here. All learning. my tools are in Sean's hands. Yeah, I'm a boy's over here learning. Right now, I'm apprenticing underneath Shane. That's true. That's Don't amazing. Stab yeah, I won't. There you go. There's a lesson of the day. <laughs> Don't stab yet. yourself. Go from there. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm gonna start cutting work myself just to get a little more risky for you. There you go, man. Point it right at your heart. Yeah. Point it right at your heart. Steve Irwin, it. Yeah. Too soon. Okay. It'll always be too soon. Always too soon. Yeah. Right. <coughs> Sorry. You could, you could just show the video, right? Cut the audio. That must have been brutal, though, you know. I was just watching a 
Joe Rogan podcast where he talks about chimpanzees. He's like obsessed with chimpanzees. Yeah, Joe Rogan. I love Joe Rogan. But anyways, he, yeah, he's, he likes chimps. And so he talked about the story where one, you know, this guy had a chimpanzee. Yeah. Because a baby and he forfeited it to the zoo. Be careful on that handle, man. You're getting dangerously narrow on that. Yeah, that's a very stop. common mistake. It and feels real good to cut right there and it looks smooth, but you're going to... Yeah. You'll chew that up in no time. I want to get rid of it right here, you know what I mean? Let me see. I want to get rid of that part, like, right there. Yeah, and you can do that. Don't cut into the handle, though. Yeah. Should I just start cutting that way? No, you got to cut the other way. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's how I've been cutting. Cut yeah, yeah. Just, should I just, just do just little cuts, like Mitch was saying. It's, you know, it takes a while to make anything. Yeah. Work. You know, you're, you're, every single piece of that stuff you're removing with a knife, you know what I mean? Your yeah. blade has to separate little chunks of that wood at a time to make things. Yeah, the hole's really messing me up because I, I want to, like, cut this down to the pith and naturally use the back. But I actually just had to bring the back up to the pith. But only here. Which means I'll have to split here. I'll only use that. Yep. Yeah, you gotta split it either way. That handle's gotta go. It's so rough, dude. Oh my god. Okay. Do you have your axe still hanging around? Yeah. Where is it? Is it in your tent? It's sick of it. I will too. If you have an off cut of whatever you have, Mick, I'll take a little bit of it and try to work something out of it. If you got any of that stuff you want to part with. Okay. Why don't you cut a piece off? Oh, here's one off cut right here. Perfect. Thank you. I mean, you just, that's, that's, that could be something. Oh, shit. The <laughs> headlamp just like made it disappear. Oh, really? I threw it at your chest. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> Coffee scoop heard. Yeah, it really is in the coffee scoop zone. Sean, Sean, dude, I made a hey when I uh, I was I was really big into espresso, Sean, when I started getting this stuff from Hawaii. Yeah. And I made a um, coffee scoop on one end, an exact perfect teaspoon coffee scoop on one end, in an espresso tamp on the other. It was sick. Yeah, I still have it actually. I just don't really drink espresso as often. Yeah. Jim, man, I wish Jim was here carving with us. He can he whip these things up so fast. Really? Yeah, he's a good carver. A really good carver. So yeah, this piece is uh, it's kind of jacked. So much salvageable. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'm trying to get it so they can see. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Have nothing is ideal about this piece at all. Not even close.
I really haven't gone far enough to get to the piss, honestly. It is right there. How's that for a chip? <laughs> ah, it's always fun. The little things we amuse ourselves with when we carve. the nose off this thing. Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, dude. Yeah, this is where I'm at right now. <laughs> it's not like 
flaky though, but it just like does peel off real easy. Yeah, it does. Go for it, man. Excuse me. You got my app? Yeah, I got it. I'll just make sure. You, uh, this is a little wackaroonie. Oh, yeah. See, rather than hold it like this and try to carve like this on my axe, I'm going to put all that pressure on that and break it. And set them in a Stabilize it and give it strength right there. Carve like this. transition. Open guys, just leaves against here, kind of wipes underneath that okay. chair just to try to dry out a bit. I'm not even sure what I'm looking at, so I'm gonna try to. I don't even know. 
mess around with this thing. Two, two. Ooh. Sometimes you gotta stop and look at it. Think, what am I doing? <clears throat> Don't want a whole lot of liquids, I want high walls. There's damage in front here. Nolly green here. Oops, Dad. I'm okay now. <laughs> I think the big dogs have fancy accents. I, uh, I had a problem when I first started carving, uncommitting to cuts, you know, I'd dig my knife into something and now it's like I can, t I don't care if I'm halfway through a cut, if it seems like it's going to flake out, it's not going to work, I'll stop. When I first started, I had an issue with that. Mallard. Nice. Oh. Getting there, man. Long way to go, but all of a sudden it has symmetry. Nice. Yeah, you're working out a really, really nice pole with that. I got so far.
Roll this knife. What knife? My knife. So glad it exists. <laughs> <laughs> Grateful I thought this one up. <laughs> yeah, man, I've always wanted a knife yeah. like this, you know. It has so much control and power. It's, I love it. LT did a great job. Parachute float away.